Hello, I decided to buy your fire supplements after being at my wit's end. I have had sex with a few women, but I've never reached an orgasm through intercourse. I can never keep an erection long enough. At first, it seemed like performance anxiety, but later, after figuring out what I like in the bedroom, I figured that maybe it was because I wasn't fully attracted to some of the women I got with, or we just weren't sexually compatible. I just recently hooked up with someone I was attracted to, but for some reason, I was still unable to get an erection. I went through the checklist in your book on performance anxiety. I'm in great shape. I eat healthy. I exercise. I look great naked. I've got a nice package. I have enough confidence in myself to not be intimidated by any woman, but I haven't had a whole lot of sexual experience. I'm thinking that if I just have to have... I'm thinking that if I just have to have more sex and get used to being in sexual situations, I tend to overthink a lot, and if things don't completely go how I planned them, it kind of, throw, kind of throws me off. Yeah, that's, that, this, is, this is sounding like performance anxiety. Also, for the past few days before the hookup, my sex drive has been pretty low for some strange reason. Normally, I have the urge to masturbate every day, and when I do, I come multiple times just from pictures. I don't like porn. So you're able to get an erection by yourself. So this tells me it's all mental and it's performance anxiety based, or like brain chemistry based. We still have a good time. I made her come at least two times with my mouth and fingers, but I want to give her the full experience. I'm I'm stopping masturbating and checking social media until I can get to the root of my problem. Well, that's a that's a good start. That's a that's first step one. Yes, cut out cut out porn, cut out masturbation, cut out social media, cut out sugary foods, cut out alcohol, cut out weed, drugs. I'm going to see this girl again, and I'm hoping that fire can get my sex drive back. But that's exactly what it's designed to do. It's designed to, to spike your sex drive like that. Uh, sex drive back enough to figure out whether the problem is my anxiety or lack of sex drive. Well, it sounds like it's both. Uh, well, it, it, it doesn't actually, well, I'd, I'd be surprised if it was a lack of sex drive if you're masturbating multiple times a day, right? Uh, like I said, normally, I'm, normally I have the urge to masturbate every day. Um, and you come multiple times. So you're masturbating multiple times a day. So that tells me that your sex drive is not, it's not low. Uh, it tells me that it's a performance anxiety problem. Uh, well, so fire supplements work even though I have performance anxiety. Well, yes, they'll still work, like because you, it's it's a balancing act, right? Like your a heightened sex drive can help to counter, like because you think about it this way, it's like it's like scales, right? And it's like okay, if I if I have like an average sex drive, but I have high anxiety, well, the anxiety side's going to weigh up, right? The weight weigh things down. Okay, well, let's put some more weights on the sex drive side of things cool, more sexually aroused, more sexually aroused, more sexually aroused, right? And so now the, the, the libido side is taking control and overriding the anxiety because you're just so aroused and so damn horny that you can't help but get, you can't help but get direction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's keep going for the question. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, this is, this is very clearly, uh, um, mental and anxiety problem like you've said like your your body is i mean okay maybe we can increase your sex drive a bit as i we can increase your sex drive to help overcome the anxiety it's kind of like a counter counterweight like i just described but you're healthy by the looks of things from what you're describing if you're accurate it's healthy like your body is healthy so it's your it's it's a mentality thing it's all in your head it's it's literally you're causing this problem yourself by your through your own thoughts and your own anxiety um and like the very fact that you can get there's nothing wrong with your dick like you can get an erection by yourself if you're masturbating i'm assuming when you masturbate and you come multiple times a day you are hard and you are an, you have a boner if that's not the case then you should have mentioned that but i'm assuming that's the case i'm assuming you have a boner when you're masturbating so that means your dick works which means you can get an erection so it's entirely in your head it's just 100 a mental thing which means it's, it's performance anxiety which means it's like it's well that can be certain different different things it could be you're, you're nervous, it could be you're, you're bored and understimulated because you're watching porn and masturbating all the time or you're looking at pictures all the time. Um, yeah, you said you're looking at pictures. So it could be that you're under, like, because you're doing this so much, a woman is not stimulating enough to you. So you need to get that shit fucking done. You need to get rid of all that, over that stimulation, all that porn, all the, all the pictures, get rid of it, stop the masturbation, stop using the fucking, uh, stop eating sugary foods and drinking alcohol, and if you do any of these things, doing drugs, doing weed, all these things could fuck this up. So you need to cut all that shit out. And you need, and then I would recommend, because you need to be, like, 
think about the mental state you're in when you are masturbating versus the mental state you are in mental and emotional state you are in when you're masturbating versus the mental and the mental and emotional state you're in when you're with a woman like this like sit down for a second and have some introspective thought on it and look at yourself and be like okay what do i what do i feel and think when i'm in when i'm just by myself masturbating and what do i feel and think when i'm with a woman you're probably thinking nothing when you're jerking off and you're probably thinking something when you're with a woman that's that's the first thing you kind of want to be in the state of calm relaxed arousal which is really just not thinking about anything at all and enjoying the, the moment so that's kind of where you want to get to so we've identified the problem we've identified a few a few first steps for you to take um but things i would probably recommend would be things like meditation and sparring to help you like literally spark boxing like getting punched in the face i'm not joking uh <laughs> to get to get more to help you become more present in the moment because like meditation does the same thing meditation is like sitting around trying to get rid of thoughts in your brain but it's far more uh that can take that can take a lot of patience and practice sparring will instantly make you present because when you punch in the face you can't be thinking about anything you are put in the moment right there when someone fucking hit you in the face so that's why I recommend sparring for guys specifically as a way to learn how to be present and more more like almost meditative uh, and that will translate over like the more you do it the more you'll get used to it and your body will get used to that moment or that because that, it's an uncomfortable situation sparring is uncomfortable right but you have to be present otherwise you get your fuck, fucking shit rocked so, <laughs> it's actually and it's all it's healthy for you it's great for your for your physique great for your fitness great for your self self-esteem great for your confidence so that is a way of actually getting you to be more present and give less of a fuck, which is another big thing. You might be giving too much of a fuck. You might be caring too much uh, about performance because this is, sounds like it's happened a few times and it's happened. It's a consistent thing. You have built this up as to a bit into a big deal in your head. So in a way, you have to kind of be present in the moment, calm, relaxed, no mind, and not give a fuck. That is kind of your ideal mental state when you are in bed with a woman. So. I hope this has given you a few things to a few uh, attack vectors to attack this problem from and uh yeah i'm i'm sure with this kind of combined approach you're going to be able to get over this problem